Well, good evening, folks. It's a real Captain Kirk here. It's the 17th of September here, Saturday evening, the last weekend of summer. I hate to say that. We thought it was a little hazy here in the Northeast, uh, smoky looking. We had uh, beautiful kind of clear skies today, but um, hazy uh, aloft. And that was just due to these wildfires uh, out in the Northwest, Montana areas, uh, coming all across the country here. So it came into here in Eastern PA. It was, again, a very milky sky. We'll show some of the video from our rooftop cameras. You can also see in this uh, weekly animation here showing that... Um, See Hurricane Fiona coming here off the East Coast here, wrapped up, and then uh, pulling in some dust from Africa. All that purple is, again, Saharan African dust. Uh, so, again, we'll show a video here at the end of uh, the Milky Skies here outside our studios tonight. Uh, we'll start here with the last week World Summer here, our week ending tonight. Uh, again, so most of this is in the history books here in the U.S. This past week was 2.1 degrees cooler than last year. Still eighth warm in 37 years, so above average. 27% uh, drier than a year ago. Dry in seven years. Tenth dry in 37 years. So, well below average rainfall. Again, this big map here, the temperature trends versus a year ago, how our retail customers would look at the weather. So again, generally cooler, wetter is usually more favorable for retail sales. So this was a, at least a part of a positive. Uh, up in Canada, not so, warms in three years. Uh, UK was coolest in three years. Europe, also the coolest in three years. So a little bit better there. Again, it's still well above average. Again, Australia and Brazil down under for their uh, last uh, part of winter here. Um, coolest in four years for Australia and coolest in 14 for Brazil. So again, they've had a cold winter for sure. Um, fall arrives here in the U.S. Uh, here this Thursday at 9.04 Eastern Time. So again, tis the season. Actually, a little bit of the weather may actually cooperate. Um, these uh, charts here, chart left is Northeast trends, daily trends, and chart right is USA trends as a whole. Uh, so the red bars are where it's just much warmer than last year. Blue bars much colder than last year. And you can see here in the Northeast, we finally had some 40s uh, outside our studios here the past, past few days. Uh, so again, that uh, certainly was an uptick. Again, uh, 40s was certainly a, a benefit for some early fall season merchandise sales. A little bit of a warm up here this week again, but it'll fall out. Uh, bottom will fall out pretty quickly here. In fact, this weekend looks to be pretty chilly. It may even only be in the 60s for highs. Uh, part of that'll be a uh, Hurricane Fiona. I'll explain how that what goes up, something comes down. That'll be the cold weather. Uh, U.S. trends again not as good this coming weekend, but uh, certainly in the Northeast a favorable weekend ahead uh, for retailers looking to sell some cold weather gear. If we look at this week overall, weekend being uh, the 24th September here. Um, hot there in the central U.S., uh, cooler in the west, cool across the north, and cooler in the extreme northeast uh, New England. A little misleading here because we start out pretty warm, but then uh, the bottom will fall out here later this week uh, for much of the Great Lakes northeast. U.S. overall, we're looking at about 2.7 warmer than last year. Warms in five, fourth warmers in 37 years. So a warm week, a lot of that's due to that central heat. And then uh, precip, uh, pretty much non-existent, 83% drier than a year ago. Number one driest in 37 years for the U.S. overall. Uh, maps, uh, Bottom left, there's the trends versus uh, last year and the precip trends versus average. If we look at the 14-day tropical forecast, you can see Tropical Storm Fiona is going to probably become a hurricane just as it grazes to the west part of Puerto Rico. And hopefully, the models are hinting that it'll take this right turn. There was some debate earlier in the week uh, here if it was going to go across Florida or get a little closer to the U.S. So still something to watch. But at this point, it looks like it's going to stay just off the east coast here, uh, maybe impact Bermuda. Again, some of that dust from Africa does get wrapped up into the system. So hopefully just... Not much more than a cat two uh, for Bermuda again, and it, Bermuda could be in that right front quadrant. So we'll need to watch that um, late this week uh, again for Bermuda. If we look at the uh, next week, again, hard to believe getting into the first day of October, but uh, see that colder trend there? So again, trends versus average map right there. Cool across the Great Lakes, Northeast and Mid-Atlantic. Again, so pretty dramatic change here with this. Uh, Fiona goes up, looks like it gets uh, sucked into uh, Eastern Canada and that allows some of the cold weather to come down. Uh, U.S. overall is about 1.6 cooler than last year, eighth warms in 37 years, so above average. But again, cool um, northeast. And again, if you look at that map, bottom left there, um, trends versus last year, much, much colder across the Midwest, uh, Great Lakes uh, than a year ago. So some good news here for some retail sales. Again, stacked up inventory, but this will certainly help. Continues to be dry, 85% drier than a year ago, number one driest in 37 years nationally. And if we just aggregate these trends here for the two-week uh, World outlook here again, cool across Europe. So that's good for some fall seasonal sales. And again, the Northeast and uh, Eastern Canada look good as well. Uh, preset map is inset left. We'll just end here with a video from our WeatherTrends 360 uh, rooftop cameras. We have four of them up there, about 150 feet in the air. Second tallest building here in the Lehigh Valley of Eastern Pennsylvania. And have a kind of a world view here of uh, all the weather coming and going. But you can see the, again, these milky, hazy skies. Again, due to those uh, fires out west getting caught up in the jet stream and making it all the way back east. So again, kind of a orangey sunset here. Again, mostly just due to that fire. 
with that, folks, we hope you have a great week. Uh, we will be back here again this time next week. Mm-hmm.